my, my role firstly is one to lead the team, as I said. Uh, and in the current administration, and, and this is just general uh, for me, uh, one is to strive for excellence. Uh, and I think we can. Uh, so one is to, uh, you know, enhance uh, and capture the skills, the expertise we have, uh, and to find ways that we can do what we're doing better, more effectively uh, and uh, quicker for the residents, as you said, prioritize and develop urgency uh, because we can do it. Uh, and we've had some good success stories in our department around that, utilizing the skills supported with systems. Uh, it's people supported by systems or people replaced by systems. Uh, and I think that's what we're also focusing on, how we merge the two. Um, I think it's changing the narrative also. Uh, public sectors often, and I must say it when I first started, yeah, I've never been called useless so many times. Uh, but you know, I have several times, uh, and a reflection on the department. But, uh, you know, in that time, we've changed the narrative. People are starting to see that there are dedicated, good staff. There are good people who work here as well. Uh, and every organization has this. Uh, and they're making inroads into changing that narrative. Uh, we're taking a more customer centric approach, which I think has been missing. Uh, we're also starting to you know, reverse the culture on the arrogance that comes with official them. And I think Cicero made mention of this in 55 BC, that these are the things you change. Uh, and I think that's what we're really doing, say, to, for people to understand the role and decisions you make and what you're doing have an impact beyond you. They have an impact on residents, developers, have an impact on the city, the province, and the country, uh, and the importance there. I think additionally, it's, it's driving the purpose purpose of the department, the purpose of the individuals, what do we do on a daily basis, uh, the impact, as I mentioned, uh, and of course, our contribution to the city uh, with a cog, you know, massive engine that is the city. Uh, and to take a car example, there are very small components in a vehicle, irrespective of value or how well it's engineered, but if they fail, the entire vehicle is not moving. Uh, so I think that's important that all our colleagues have a role to play. In terms of the political administration and others, you can also call it, it's about managing expectation. Uh, and, we, and one, I think, it's also understanding the politics but not being consumed by the politics. So I'm not a politician. Uh, I'm a technocrat. Uh, but governance and development is always politicized. It is global. Uh, and we understand this. So it's important for leaders to understand it. And for me in particular, to manage that, to have a good political and administrative interface uh, so that the agenda is developed, delivered on and the city grows as a whole uh, in what we're doing and understanding the dynamics it comes with, uh, but also at times managing the expectations to say what's possible, what isn't possible, uh, ensuring the lines aren't blurred uh, and the accountability is kept and, and it's measured. Um, so for me at the moment, that's the role. Um, there's a lot of other issues as well, everything from administrative stuff relating to uh, labor, uh, disputes, uh, tools of trade, working conditions, all these things, they come, they part for the course. Uh, engaging with customers is critical. You know, having a face to the department, it's not just the city. Well, but engaging with our customers, our residents, uh, and irrespective of the age and what they're contributing and doing. Uh, you know, the, the younger people among us, even kids, are the future users of the very same service the future customers of the city. So it's imperative we engage across the platform. 